So here's another tree with some infection on the leaves. And it's obviously got some sort of fungal issue going on there, I would say, causing the leaves to sort of wither and die. Right? And this isn't the only tree, and uh, I have seen these in, in various places on my walk around the Wimbledon Common this evening. So if we wanted to test out a treatment for this, we might want to just split the whole of this beautiful common in half. So maybe we divide it into north and south. What happens then is we apply some sort of liquid to the leaves on, say, the south side. And maybe we leave the north side without any treatment at all. And then what we do is we follow them over a period of, say, uh, three or four or five years and see which trees uh, recover and which don't. Perhaps there's no difference. So that would be a non-randomized controlled study. You'd have the south receiving this fantastic new antifungal um, liquid that's going to be poured on here and in the north of Wimbledon Common you'd have uh, the trees without that on there. The difficulty is that there could be something about being on the north side that makes you more likely to have problems than if you're on the south side. So what we'd really like to do is rather than just decide willy-nilly which trees get sprayed with the antifungal agent, what we prefer to do is to take all of the trees that are out there and then randomly allocate them so that each of them receives uh, has a 50-50 chance of receiving the new f antifungal infection. Of course, 50% of them won't receive the antifungal infection. And what that will mean is it will take out some of the confounders, some of the problematic things that could cause us to get a biased idea of whether or not the antifungal agent is effective or not.